An accused serial bride walks into court instead of down the aisle and pleads not guilty to fraud. Liana Barrientos is accused of tying the knot with 10 different men. At one point, she was married to eight of them at once. Michelle Sagona is joining us now from Washington. Michelle, I know you just got off the phone with the district attorney's office. I did. Seems like they should have figured this out maybe at the sixth wedding, maybe the seventh wedding. How did maybe. we get to eight? Eight, ten. I have a list of ten men here in front of me, a uh, release that came from them. And, you know, I did speak with someone within the office, and they said, really, this has been going on since, allegedly, since the 1990s. And, uh, you know, what, all the way, men have been married from Westchester all the way to Long Island. And so the pieces were really starting to come together in 2010 when the suspect allegedly filed for another marriage certificate. And someone there, I'm not sure who, said, hmm, something's not right. And as they were going back through some things, reports indicate that um, she was changing her name just by a few letters on some of the, on the, you know, on some of the marriage applications and certificates. And that's really what caught, you know, the attention of authorities. So do you think this was about money? Was she marrying exceptionally wealthy men? Well, it... What I can tell you and what the DA's office did confirm to me is that, yes, the motive does appear to be money. It does appear she received some sort of compensation. But they're, they wouldn't say who and they wouldn't say how much and they wouldn't say, you know, from where exactly it came from. But the motive in these cases does appear to be money. I'm also curious because as you were speaking, we saw just the dates of all of these marriages. Oh, yeah. do, do, do the preceding nine become null and void because the first existed and there's documentation that it was legally done? You know, that's a very good question. I, I'm not exactly sure. It's it's one that I can ask. But what I can tell you is that, you know, one of the uh, one of the pieces of information I, I did, you know, another question I did ask was that, will these men face anything if they knew? And, you know, what I was told is that all of these happen in such different jurisdictions. And that's why, really, it took, you know, them so long to come forward with with this, you know, with these two charges and to be able to move forward with a strong case is because although they were flagged in 2010, she really wasn't arrested, from what I'm told, until October 2014. She, and then she was, uh, you know, after after her arrest in October 14, then, you know, the formal charges were brought over in November. And then here we are up until this point. So I think that they're still figuring some things out. And I think that it's going to be even a longer investigation to figure out if there are more men or if there are any other issues. Instances. I mean, she's 39 years old at this point and, you know, has allegedly been accused of marrying all these multiple partners. Any idea what penalty she could be facing? You know, for the for the uh, counts today, uh, from what I'm told and from what the release says, the charge holds four years behind bars. I'm also told that immigration, customs, homeland security is involved. And uh, her next court date is going to be on May the 18th. So we should find out a little bit more then. 39 years old and 10 times a bride. Michelle Sagona, thank you. you so much. Have a good day. To follow updates on this investigation and for more crime stories, check out cbsnews.com slash crimesider.